there are a couple of ways that you can create shadow in Pixlr. And um, when I'm talking about shadow, I'm talking about the shadow of an object. And you can try to repaint it. It's just kind of really annoying. Um, but I'm just going to show you one of the methods that I use. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm working with this bunch of balloons right there. And I know the angle of my shadow. If you can see it, it moves along um, at that angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the copy and uh, change the order so that the copy is in the background. And I'm going to adjust the saturation on the copy so that it's completely unsaturated. And then I'm going to adjust the contrast so that there's no contrast because really you wouldn't see contrast. Um, in a picture, in a, um, in a shadow. I take the brightness down completely because it is a shadow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to free distort this image. Now I know that the shadow lays at this angle, kind of. And I'm going to try to get it a little bit square. Now it's time to view. And just say yes, I want to keep those differences. And then here we go. So we see that I have an exact image and it's distorted like a shadow would be. And the nice thing is now I can just go into the copy and look at the opacity. Like if you don't see opacity adjustments. Just, it's that little one right there. And then I adjust it like this. So there you see I have basically a perfect shadow. I didn't have to redraw it at all. Uh, another way of doing shadow is just by coming in and having your paintbrush tool and having the opacity at like 10. So I've got to put the shadow on these little weights here holding these bunches of balloons. So I want to get on this bunch and it's at 10 percent and it just adds just just a touch of shadow which is exactly what I want. Select the other one and there I've got the shadow that I want on both of those. So that's just one of the things that I do to create a really easy kind of perfect shadow.